So, to brush up what we did today, we did questions based on equations. We did examples of permutation where always certain number of terms are together and never together. Remember the case of n minus m factorial and never together. If we brush up this formula, always together was written as m of them are always together, m factorial and n minus m plus 1 factorial. And hence we have for rule and for never together, how do we have it? We have n minus m factorial and it is n minus m plus 1 pm. And for always together in each of these, we in case of circular permutation, we reduce this by 1. So this is going to be m factorial into n minus m factorial. This one for never together in case of circular permutation is n minus 1, m minus 1 factorial and n minus m p m. Right. Then we did about exclude them, exclude them. Suppose one particular item is excluded, then the number of available is going to be n minus m and r have to be chosen out of this. Hence we have that. Include them. We did the formula r times n minus m p r minus m because m items have been removed and included. Hence we need to pick up only r minus m out of n minus m and they can be arranged in r different ways. So there is, these are the number of arrangements. Then we did arrangement with repetition that is n factorial upon p factorial upon q factorial upon r factorial and p of them of one kind, q of them identical of another kind and r of them identical of another kind. We did word number problems based on this, quite a number of them where many or the word problems in which many digits are repeated. Then we did special case of arrangement for necklace, circular necklace where the clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements both amount to the same. So you're going to have half into n minus 1 factorial arrangements that are possible.